Hey guys, we are staying at the Knights in Rodanthe house. So I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the house just in case you're curious as to what the house looked like inside. So this is one of the doors that you can walk into. They do have these really cool little kind of like 70s style like little curtain beads here going on as you walk in. And it's got like a little wine cooler, a little sink area. So this is called, I think it's called like the butler's area. So they have this area, you probably have seen this part in the movies, if you guys have ever seen the movie of Night and Rodanthe. That's exactly what it looks like here. It's very beautiful. So then after you leave this area, you're going to turn around and you're gonna walk through here and you get to the dining room area. Don't mind all of our messes. Everybody is just getting unpacked into the house. There's a set of steps that do lead up to one of the floors. Then you've got like a little seating area over here. Very cute. It's got some chairs. It has these little beads again with like seashells. These are really cool. So I think these are nice. They have the sea glass and everything on them. And then as you turn around here, you've got like a little table area. Very cute. This is one of my arrangements I made for our vow renewal. So that's a nice little romantic seating area. And then it's got a fireplace. So if you come here in the winter time, it'll still be good. And it's got a TV. As you can tell, we're watching Back to the Future. Got this little nook in the area that's got a bunch of different little things about the house and some books different things. My husband really loves this turtle like stool. I don't know why, but he just thinks it's really cool. Then it's got this little screened in porch area, which is really nice. It's going to be perfect for the night. So you don't have to worry about mosquitoes getting you or anything. So you come out here, you've got this area. Feels so good. The wind blowing. It's absolutely beautiful. So I love this. Then we've got the kitchen. This is the famous kitchen from the movie. If you guys remember this from the actual movie, Nights in Mordanthe, this is something that you actually saw in the movie. I love this kitchen. It definitely goes with my wedding theme, which is Tiffany blue. So I am in love with this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here's the famous little French doorways. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Then you've got another entrance here. So you've got another way to enter the house. So if you go through this little doorway, which I think in the movies, this was like where she was prepping the food, but this is technically not where you prep the food. It's actually a bathroom. So as you can tell, there's some wedding stuff back in here. And this area right here is a washer and dryer. So you've got a washer dryer here. The house is old, but to me it's very iconic. So it's just really cool to stay in an iconic house. So here is the bathroom, wedding stuff, a shower in here. Got some cute little rugs. It's a very dated house, I will admit, but honestly, I didn't care. I just wanted the iconic, like, I guess, value of the house. Okay, sorry about that, guys. We did get interrupted, but again, we're back in this area right here. And then there is the sitting room outside. This is the kitchen. And then this is off of the kitchen. That was the bathroom and the laundry area. This is the front door. And then we've got another side door here, but it also has like a little butler area, which is really cool. Then you've got this really neat set of steps that do go up. So let's go up the steps. They're carpeted, which is nice if you have little kids. And then as you can tell, there's lots of rooms here. So the first room you come to is the very, very iconic blue room. That was featured in the movie. So this is the room that Richard Gere actually stayed in. So this room is so beautiful. I wanted to stay in this room, but honestly, uh, I'll show you why we didn't stay in this room. <laughs> so this room is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the bold, rich colors to this room. And then as you come out of this room, you have the overview so you can look downstairs. Got a really beautiful chandelier here. Then you've got twin beds here in this room. And then we're gonna walk this way and we're going to get to this room right here, which is an all white room, very pretty. So this one feels very cool inside too. So I like the way this one feels. 
Then we've got a little closet here. It's just a utility closet. Then we're coming to the master suite, which is the room we chose. <laughs> it's a mess already. I do apologize because we've unloaded all of our stuff out of the vehicle. But this is what the room looks like. And it's got a nice king size bed. And then you've got like a little seating area over here. So you can just sit here and read your book or just chill. And then you've got a closet there. Then you've got your own balcony, which is why I wanted this room right here. You have your personal balcony. So I can come out here and just chill and look at the ocean. Absolutely gorgeous. So I love this. And then as we step over all of our wedding stuff here, we've got the master bathroom, which is really pretty as well. So here is the master bathroom. I do apologize for the way I look. I look a little crazy. And then we've got the shower. Like I said, it's a little dated, but honestly, like I said, it's such an iconic house. I don't care how dated it looks. It's just the point that you can say that you stayed at the Knights and Merdanthe house. So where Richard Gere and Diane Lane filmed their movie. And of course, right there is the poster. So there is the famous poster from the movie. And then you walk down this way and we have a bathroom that the three, I think three bedrooms have to share together actually. So we've got a shower, a toilet area, and then a sink. I love that heart made out of driftwood. That's so pretty. And then you come over this way, you've got a window with the infamous blue shutters. Then we've got another area to walk up. So we're gonna walk up this way. And once you get to the next level, there's more rooms. So we get here. I love this wallpaper. It's a very, I don't know, just it's it definitely dates its time, especially even this bathroom is very dated. And it's got the old style bathtub shower area with the toilet. Then you can go up another set of stairs. And this is the very tip top of the house here once you get here. And then this is another bedroom. So this room is nice and bright and sunny. I love the ceiling. The ceiling is gorgeous. It's got a nice fan in here. Such a beautiful room. And then you've got the ocean view. How gorgeous. Then we'll go back down the steps. Right now, since we are during the uh, virus, there's not a whole lot of linens on the beds. Now we walk up to this way. We've got a little seating area with a cute little window and a little nook. And then we come to a bathroom. No, this is the bedroom, sorry. We've got a bedroom here with the ceilings that are kind of like, I don't know what it's called when the ceilings are like that. I'm not even sure to be honest with you. There's this bedroom. It's got a tiny little closet here. It's got a TV. It's very cool in the house now. It was hot in here when we first got here. Then we've got another, this is the what they call the upper head. <laughs> So this is just a bathroom, just a toilet and a sink. So if you just need to go potty, then we have a little, like a little living room area. So we have another living room area. And then of course, another outdoor deck area. And then we've got this cute little sink here with wine air, wine spots and a little mini fridge. Then you've got another level up and you can level up here. And you've got like a little chest, a couch, a table, the infamous blue shutters, and the view. So pretty. So this is what it looks like. I love it. Honestly, I love how eclectic the style is to this house. Kind of reminds me of Harry Potter for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> And then you can go out this door here. Again, there's another deck and it takes you out here. 
whoops, there's a glass door too. I just ran right into it. Yep, that's it. So you have this area here. So beautiful. And that is everything. That is the grand tour of the house. If you've never seen the inside of this house. I know everybody's seen the outside, but hard to see the inside of it so now you've got like a live tour so let me know what do you think I love how they named all of these rooms as well this one is Chickahama Lounge that is the upper head that was the bathroom and then this one was called uh, Merlo Observatory so they all have names and that's really cool I like that they did that I think I'm gonna do that at our house name all the rooms makes it kind of fun. Got an owner's closet. We've got the nanny's retreat. We've got one of the other areas. We've got the library square. And we've got cumulus tower suite. So this is the one that leads up to the upper room. Let's see what the other rooms are called. I'll show you that real quick, just in case you were curious. Trying to walk very quickly. Hopefully this is not super shaky. Um, is this one named? No, this is not named. That's interesting. Hmm, maybe the others are not named. I don't think they're named. Oh, yep, this is Seagull South. This was the blue room. That one is called Seagull South. And then this one is Palamico West. And then we've got the Wilderness North. And the master one is called the Oceanic View Suite. So that is everything, guys. You'll have to let me know what do you think of the house do you think it is worthy of making a movie about <laughs> i do i mean hello richard gear look at him oh right there look at richard gear and diane lane anyway thank you guys so much for watching until next time i'll catch you guys later